Welcome, fire signs, to your monthly forecast for January 2024. Yes, Happy New Year for those of you out there. Cannot believe we already are in the new year, but here we are for the monthly reading here for <clears throat> our fire signs here, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. A reminder here that things have changed a little bit over at Harmonia Tarot. Uh, the monthly readings now are going to be at HarmoniaFriends.com for the extensive readings. You still will get a, a nice reading over here for the energy of what's to come um, and for each individual signs. And then there will be an extended reading for my monthlies over at Harmonia Friends. Uh, you will find all when you join and become a member that you get access to everything. It's not just one reading. It's the entire vault, including all of my all sign readings, which I do uh, post new content every week for all signs, uh, Tuesday talks. I have access point experiences over there, which are my meditations and group ups and discounts, discounts for those group ups. And I do have a mediumship gallery coming up on January 18th. For more information on there, go check out my website. All right, without further ado, let's see what is going on here for our fire signs. Now remember fire signs, Take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit. Don't do it. And if you're interested on what cards I'm using, just go in the description box and you will see all of the decks that I use for this particular reading. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters. Spirit, what do our fire signs need to know? What do our fire signs need to know? Here we go. Fire signs. <clears throat> Ooh, you got the number 44, strength. Love it. Love it. When I think of strength, especially the card of strength here, even though these are in a tarot deck and this is using the enchanted map oracle cards from Colette Baron Reed, I always think of strength as endurance, perseverance, and also having a lot of courage. And I love how it is showing the strength here. And it almost looks like holding the world in your hands and still having the strength and ability here to stretch and go a little bit further. So there's something here about stretching and going out a little bit further, but let's see what the book has to state here. Fire signs. It says, the strength to accomplish even the most daunting task is yours at this time, fire signs. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are deepening as well. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off the course of evolution. As the potency of your connections become more obvious, your ability to harness the creative energies that are available to you. So utilize this strength this month for you, fire signs, okay? This is your challenge here is to... Keep building up that endurance. Um, it's going to, you know, this can happen in many different forms, especially if you're starting a new routine. Think of this almost as exercise, guys. Think of it as the new year. Some of you got those new year resolutions, but this is beyond resolutions. It's sticking with it. It's being very diligent and very conscious of the decisions and the tasks that are at hand to build something, build something up. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the Ryder Waite Smith deck here, but this is the Wiser Tarot. It's a it's a it's based on the Rider Waite, but it's a little bit more of a radiant deck. But we're gonna see what the challenges of the past here for you, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, because the past will come up within this month for you to clear something. And this will give you kind of a key too if this reading really resonates with you. Remember no reversals when we use this deck. <clears throat> My water signs just got this card here. Justice, Libra energy. Decision time. Hmm. In the past, these are usually decisions outside of your hand, though. Outside of your hand here. You look at this. Look at all of this decision, judgment, awakening, ascension. Oh, you haven't been happy 
with the decisions that have been made in the circumstances that you've been in. What, in any kind of relationship, what, in any kind of job, this is someone here who's never seen those rejections as protection, not really, or has utilized this to really go after and roll up their sleeves and stick with it. This is someone here who did not see those opportunities, fantasized about it, was like, yeah, I wish I could have had that, but you know, it's not for me. Four of Cups doesn't see it. They don't see it. They're fantasizing about it. They're too interested in looking at these other celebrations and things like that, escapism. I don't know. There's something here about future tripping, tripping up on things that woulda, coulda, shoulda didn't happen. And always being dissatisfied with certain ascensions or certain moves that were not made in your favor. Now, was everything to crap? I don't think so. I think there were some really good opportunities here that you've taken within your life. I just feel like someone here who's not really looking or appreciating some of the things that they have been through. Um, I do feel the need here for you this month, uh, Fire Signs, is to really roll up your sleeves and get that endurance to go after what you truly want and desire and not necessarily on a specific person or a specific job. It's really just going after the dream of you knowing that you deserve what's better to come. What's better to come is what I hear. All right, now let's break down into the individual signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I'm going to be pulling one card, and this will let you know what the energy is to what is to come before we move over to Harmonia Friends area for my members. Here we go. Aries. <clears throat> Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries is up first. Let me just timestamp this. Here we go. Aries, let's see what card is what's to come for you for this month. Well, somebody's on guard. Somebody here is pretty defensive. Somebody here does not want something in. Um, I feel very independent. I feel I can handle, I mean, this is somebody here who can handle it, but is also really sick and tired of the bullshit. Really sick and tired of the bullshit. So there's something here that you are being very protective and some of you, it's your heart, but I do feel walls or boundaries are going up or they're going up because something is coming your way and you're not really happy with it. All right. But regardless here, we have an Aries who's about to put their walls up. So that's going to be the title about to put their walls up. And it feels to me that to be on guard is because you've been through this before. And that's really significantly going to know if this read is going to be for you, because I feel like you've been through this ringer before and before a decision is made, I feel like you're going, uh, 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 oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to allow this opportunity here. Okay. Now this is an opportunity here where I feel you are able to put a wall up or to be prepared to have your boundaries up. And that's what I have for Aries. Let's move on to Leo. Leo is up. Leo, we have the King of Cups reverse Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Now, this king is someone here who's extremely loving, intuitive, um, just has a really kind heart, uh, <clears throat> is always there for other people. But this is somebody who is reversed. Now, this could be someone here who's over-emotional who reacts right off the bat, uh, has no control over their emotions, uh, has a very closed heart, but I feel this energy for this month, 
someone here is losing faith and feels like, I don't know, I almost want to get emotional about this. I feel like I got a Leo here who's like, I don't know if I can finish this. I don't know if I can continue this. I don't know if I have the strength and the ability to make this possible. But I feel the energy for Leo here who is going through an emotional roller coaster or will be this month and is a little, and there's going to, there's going to be some obstacles here that are going to ask you to really stay in check and in line. Okay. And that may ask you to pull back a little bit so that you feel a little bit of, um, the ability to release your emotions. It's not to hold on to your emotions. It's to allow the release. You're allowed to have a bad day. Um, but it's also to really take those emotions and allow them to go through you. I almost want to say like a cloud. Okay. Like you just go through it. Um, because I think in the past you've held on to things to not feel a particular way. And this Leo's got either the, uh, I don't know, I, it feels like the faucets are on, like a lot of crying or even anger, but utilize your emotions to actually strengthen your endurance, especially if this is anger, especially if this is anger. Okay. Utilize that strength in a positive way for you. And there's always going to be some kind of message here of positivity when it comes to that. So we're going to dive deeper into this um, when we go to the other side, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius this month. Sagis. Well, look at this. Bye, Felicia. Look at you spreading your wings. Look at you leaving things that no longer serve you emotionally. Now, there's one thing to fly away. And there's one thing to escape. So there's a question here that I'm asking you, and this is a question that is coming up channeled. Are you can continue to leave the things that no longer serve you, or are you leaving things that you do not want to face and have the courage to face, to truly face? Because there's something here about, there's something here that I have a Sagittarius here who's afraid of confrontation of some sort. So you may be in the realm here of, well, it's not just future tripping, but really not taking your actions and words and doing what you say. Like if you're going to fly, you better fly, right? But if you're going to say you're going to do something and say, you know what, I am so not emotionally invested in this anymore. I know my worth, but yet you don't really know your worth and you put yourself right into another relationship without even doing the healing process, okay? It's that kind of stuff. You don't want to put yourself and carry the baggage with you into another scenario or another supply situation or have someone do that to you as well. But this can also be with work or anything creative that you're doing that are you in the energy, Sagis, of typically saying, well, I'm not really happy with that, but I'm going to utilize my time because I feel I can make more money doing something like that. But you never actually act upon doing those things, okay? Maybe you want to start a new business. Maybe you want to do something on the side. These are all examples. I'm just giving you those different kind of examples. But there's something here where... If you're going to make these life changes and they are life changes, it may involve you to relocate. It may involve you to go down rabbit holes that you have never been open to before, especially if you're going through the dark night of the souls here where you're letting things of old beliefs, old traditions leave you behind. But you are leaving something behind this month, but it is going to take you to really say and do the actions that you are promising to yourself, not to another person. So whatever you're doing to fly, Spirit's saying, well, you've flown before, but you've kind of flown in either to another scenario where you're repeating the same cycle, or are you going to fly and actually do what you said you're going to do? Okay, the challenge is up to you, up to you, Sagis. All right, that's what we have here for the readings. Like I said, if you would like to come on over to Harmonia, just go to harmoniafriends.com and you will find all of the information there to join us. You guys take care and I will see you next year. Just kidding, not next year, next month. <laughs>